We're going live, LA Fentech. Nice. Is it live here? We're having a dance party. It's Doge. Yep. Yeah. So thanks a lot for Julian coming down. Everyone else, thanks for coming down. LA Fintech. This is actually the last one for the year. Um, next month is going to be the contest for some other demos throughout the whole year. And um, so let's give it up for Julian with uh, Pro Doge. for coming out um you know a few people here will be able to tell all your grandkids about this you were one of the half a dozen people right so you might be because we got a really interesting company i'll tell you about it so the name of the company is protege right i'm the founder co-founder that's jimmy the other founder over there um so uh i guess i got 10 minutes or something like that and so the app itself is really simple. I'll give some background just for color and that type of thing. Um, I've been involved in FinTech for you know at least six or seven years. I got involved in this whole game because I was living down in Argentina and there was massive inflation. And I used to say I love the Argentinian peso. It's the only one to value itself faster than the dollar. You know. And so, anyways, putting down there, I saw people. You know, literally running across the border, you know, with bags of cash and such things because they were capital controlled. So I was there down in 2008, and um, so, you know, Bitcoin came out right around then, right? So, you know, 2010, etc. you know, various, you know, the world moves on. And so my big focus and inspiration in life was that I wanted to bring multi-currency banking to the masses. So I spent, you know, the past half a decade or more building multi-currency banking solutions. And um, I still think that's a huge market um, that is relatively untapped. And what I'm talking about is, you know, your bank account, all of us can really generally only hold USD. Um, and that's, you know, it's, you know, it'd be nice if I could diversify it into a basket of currencies. So anyways, started those things and um, I was working in both the Bitcoin world and I was also working in the FDIC insured world. You know, and they're two sort of separate worlds, or they can be, or they were. Anyways, Bitcoin is now becoming much more institutionalized and, you know, losing some of that luster and outlawed nature of its original early days. You know, then. Um, but so after my last uh, banking startup thing, um, I had some time off and I was trying to figure out what to do. And um, I was saying to myself, you know, if I could restart and do it all over again, I would do a crypto startup. Um, based around Dogecoin. And so that's what I did. And so here we are tonight, and I'm happy to introduce Protege really for the first time to anybody in the world. Um, you know, I haven't told anybody about it, I've done no marketing at all, and that's all very intentional. So, um, anyways, Protege, what Protege is, and so the name of the company is Pro Doge, uh, or Pro Doge, right? It's plan words. And the French pronunciation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so one of the reasons why I was attracted to Dogecoin and really built the company around Dogecoin is because, you know, Bitcoin gets all the headlines or most of the headlines. But in my opinion, Bitcoin has failed as a payment mechanism. And I don't even think that's really a very controversial statement. You know, other people will say, yeah, lightning and all these other things. But, you know, generally speaking, I don't think Bitcoin has taken off as a payment mechanism as it necessarily should have or we might say would want it to, right? And why it hasn't is very simple. I mean, it's not going to work if it takes an hour to buy a sandwich. You know, I've already eaten it 10 times and, you know, now I need a diet plan. Not for, you know? So the settlement times and other things regarding by, uh, Bitcoin have made it not particularly useful for payments. Now, that could change in the future, of course. But so in the meantime, Dogecoin, on the other hand, came out and originally it was a joke coin. And um, it was funny because the first time I pitched this idea, it was literally I got an email in my inbox and it said, hey, you know, there's a startup competition, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I said, hey, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. So fine, I'll just go pitch something. And so I literally went and pitched this idea just as a joke. And it turns out people liked the idea. Now all of a sudden I had a team and you know, so. Thank you. Um, but um, so 
the history of Dogecoin was that it started as a joke, and today, um, you know, the stats change every single day. Mm -hmm. But Dogecoin is arguably the most used digital currency in the world. And what I'm talking about is day-to-day -day transactions. I'm not talking about speculating and gambling and trading, but people trading it back and forth. And I don't have the latest up-to-date stats, but most coins out there, about 90% of their volume, let's say, is speculating on the exchanges. And 10% is, let's say, daily usage. That number is flipped when it comes to Dogecoin. 10% is speculation on the exchanges, quote, 90% is people doing transactions, right? So there are a lot of people in the world using Dogecoin, and it's also a globally known brand. You know, everybody, quote, knows Dogecoin, Doge, the dog, et cetera, et cetera. So that was how Protege came to be, you know, it was, hey, we have this, you know, brand, we have coin that basically can move instantly around the world. People are already using it for day-to-day -day transactions. And it seems to be like, you know, a lot of the solutions out there are not necessarily up to par or what we would want, um, you know, or expect in today's market. So that's what we've done is we built a basically, uh, you know, our friend here, Chris, he summed it up well. Uh, we are a stripe and a square for cryptocurrency. Um, with our application, anybody in the world can start up their business. Sorry to interrupt you, but you take credit cards then? Yes, we do. So anyone in the world can start up their business in under a minute with our application. There is no KYC involved. All you need is an email and you can start sending money or selling anything to anyone in the world. So I'll repeat that. Anyone in the world can start up their business in under a minute using Protege and start sending money or accepting money from anyone in the world in under a minute for free with no chargebacks instantly. Oh, Last time I'll interrupt you. So you'll be able to- You, you can hold the, hold the questions till then. All questions till then. Oh. Good. Yeah. So, wait, wait. Wait, you gotta wait. <laughs> so, so we are, I'll touch on his, he's asking about, well, I don't know the full question, but we are a peer-to-peer -peer platform, right? So we are not a bank. We touch no money whatsoever. All we are is a platform. You come onto our platform, you can set up your profile, add your wallets. Now I can search for, I need a developer in Thailand. Boom, his profile will appear, all of his wallets will be there. I can now send him a payment instantly for free using Dogecoin, Doge Cash, uh, Burge, and we also support Bitcoin <coughs> and Digibyte as well. And on the credit card side, yes, he can either accept the credit card payment or you can send an invoice and get paid in credit cards as well. So we're not at all uh, you know, pushing out the old financial people. No, 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 no. We're accepting everybody and we're recognizing that, hey, you know, people use credit cards. It's a fantastic payment mechanism. But at the same time, we can also use these cryptos. So we've combined the ability to accept credit cards with the ability to accept and pay people with crypto and made it into a searchable social network so that I can take this out here, I can create an invoice in under 30 seconds, I can create a checkout in under 30 seconds, I can find anybody in this room and I can pay them instantly um, for free. Um, you know, as a merchant, there are no chargebacks. So we're, you know, there are a lot of topics I can touch on, but for example, you know, international payments, right? Everybody knows about this. You know, they take, could take a long time, charge $50 here, blah, 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 currency, this or that. Other things, merchants, Amazon.com, for example, people say Amazon is untouchable. I think the opposite. I think Amazon is extremely vulnerable. They charge their merchants 20% per sale. I charge zero. And I do things instantly for free with zero chargebacks. We're gonna build this out. We're gonna build a global marketplace where merchants can trade instantly for free between themselves. We're gonna eliminate all the fees. And we're really trying to promote the new business model of value-added services in the platform economy versus the old business model of, you know, user and, you know, charging people fees for this side of the other thing, which everyone wants to get rid of. And so that's who we are. Um, again, we're a platform for business. Anybody in the world can start an account in under one minute with just their email, and you can start sending and doing business to anyone in the world instantly for free, zero chargebacks, zero merchant fees. So protege.com, 
Um, most of our social media is not set up yet. Again, this is, I haven't told anybody what we're doing. This is literally, uh, you know, we're announcing it right now. And so we'll be out in the adverts in the next, quote, 48 to 72 hours or earlier. Um, we put in all of our apps, you know, in the last 24 hours or so, so those are ongoing. Um, so we'll be coming out with the social media and other announcements as things you know, progress. Um, but, you know, that's who we are. We, you know, we're not a bank, um, but you are the banks. This is real peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, instant for free, all around the world. Um, you know, no KYC. This is, this is 2010, as far as I'm concerned. Um, this is why I got into this. This is what inspired me, um, not to recreate banks and do this type of thing. So, um, again, um, protege.com, we support Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Digibyte, Doge Cash, and I will speak a little bit about Doge Cash, um, just because that's a great team. Uh, I think a lot of people are sleeping on Doge Cash right now. It's basically a sister or brother coin to Dogecoin. Um, Doge Cash, again, it's highly scalable. It can scale to Visa type levels. This has already been tested. It's at around two or three cents a coin, 21 million. So it's the, you know, total. So it's basically like Bitcoin, right? Um, and, you know, there's going to be a lot of help for the animals with Doge Cash team. And they've got a lot of other cool projects as well. So um, don't sleep on Doge Cash and protege.com, protege apps in the Apple and Android store within the next 48 to 48, 72 hours. So cool. Thanks, awesome. yeah. Yeah. So, question. <laughs> oh, here we go. So, okay. So let's talk about um, settlements in terms of the, uh, the credit card transactions. So, so you're gonna. So you're a. Um, so you have like a. What is it called? The um, like a the payment processing. What is that called? It's um. It's for credit card processing. Is that what is that called? Well, I think you're talking about. Well, some I'm talking sort of about uh, PCI like, compliance or something. No, I'm talking about. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is, but it's like a. It's a clearing. Thing. Right. Swift? ACH? ACH? No. Swift? No. no, no I, can, a... I can answer your question briefly by simply saying that we are not a credit card processor. We integrate with Stripe and PayPal. Okay. So you achieve your credit card processing okay. through, by, Stripe and PayPal. through Stripe or PayPal. Okay. Right. So then can you clear those funds in US dollars then? They clear those funds in US dollars. Yeah. Okay. So. So you're just like an intermediary that uh, that has a, a payment processing that we can use coins with, or yeah, we're we're strictly a platform. Okay, we're strictly a platform, like in a, yeah, we're we're like an Amazon.com. Okay, that was the question, Jeff. Okay, yeah. turn to the nerds. I got a couple questions. <laughs> so if someone is paying in cryptocurrency to like uh, to a merchant of that, mm -hmm. uh, do you have an option to get in or out to fiat? No. Got it. Okay. No problem. And then the second question is, is it's awesome that you're giving everything away for free. How are you getting to pay yourself and the other people who are working on this? Well, so our business model is again on the value added services. So right now what we're doing is giving people three to five free invoices a month. Anything more than that, you're paying us now $3.99 per month. And with that, you're getting the ability to customize your invoice and you're also getting the ability to, everybody has a profile. With that per profile, you can add two keywords. When you pay us $3.99 a month, you can add five keywords. So for example, you might add you know, graphic designer or you know, whatever you're getting found for your business. So this is the business model, four dollars a month. So, and, so, oh, three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Three dollars and ninety-nine. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And then yeah. on top of that, you know what we want to do going forward is, as a platform, you know the opportunity for growth and you know you go this way or that way is almost endless. Like you know. Yeah, I, I yeah. definitely. If you do a service that has sort of a freemium model where yeah. you know there's some 
based services to get people interested and involved, and then you have ways to be valued out on top of that. It's yeah. a tried and true business model. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you for sharing that, Julie. Yeah. Well, thank you for asking. I'll go. Uh, so first of all, congratulations on uh, on getting out, man. I know how uh, tough that could be. Uh, so when you're coming out, are you you're issuing just you're just platform? You're just saying, hey, here we are. Or do you have, are you selling a Do a Deutsche coin or like what? How how are you coming out? So um, we are um, coming out the front door. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so yeah, we're a platform. Just the platform we're literally just, you're announcing it based on social media just come to us we're a service we're a platform no tokens no shares of stock no nothing this is we're just you can use this and use it do it do it yeah cool yep. pardon me what is this do, dog do it yes what can you uh can you say that again i just walked sure. in pardon. yeah sure briefly as we're a, we're uh you can sign up with just your email in under a minute uh -huh. Under a minute, you can start invoicing, selling people on the spot, mobile point of sale, or paying anyone in this room instantly for free. What is the name again? Protege. Protege. Yeah. Okay. And is it listed anywhere? It'll be on the Android and Apple stores within 48 to 72 hours, depending on their you know, approval process. So it's a platform. It's a platform. It's not a token. No. It's a peer-to-peer -to -peer platform. Gotcha. For mobile point of sale, invoicing, and paying people. I see. You missed the past 10 minutes. I missed it. Yeah, sorry. I just I recorded it so you could listen. All right. All right. Thanks. Yeah. So, uh, pardon me. I know you guys are not a huge fan of banks here, but I'm going to ask a question from the perspective of someone who's worked at a bank. Now, I think one of the value added things that a bank provides is because it is a highly regulated industry, um, there's a lot of things that the banks have to comply with, like anti money laundering, know your customer. Also, things they have to know about basic customer information, Bank the Secrecy Act. What are you going to do to garner a sense of trust on your platform? Sort of something that the banks are able to do via the U.S. government. Trust yeah. us. You don't need it. Well, I, maybe I'm just going to point to that guy. <laughs> so, are you going to do anything to like stop terrorist funding or money laundering? Oh, absolutely. No, so, we're all going to launder money there. That's the whole point. We're definitely not Silk Web, you know, 2.0 or anything like that. Um, you know, there's no way that you can, uh, you know, close down crime and these types of things 100%. You know, people do what they're going to do. But we absolutely do have and will continue to have and work on controls so that, for example, if somebody creates a profile, you know, sex slave, you know, fentanyl, um, you know, you know, weaponry, you know, these types of obvious things we're going to be on the lookout for and absolutely, you know, put an end to quickly. Um, and then otherwise, though, we are true, a trustless platform in the sense that it's peer to peer. So, you know, know who you're doing business with. And, you know, that's one thing that we do. And it's a quote, a value add to the protege platform is that you're not just finding people and sending money. We're confirming transactions for you. So you can send an invoice to somebody and you don't have to wait for, quote, John to call you and say, hey, you know, I just paid you. No, your protege app will tell you the Bitcoin has arrived, the, you know, Dogecoin has arrived, right? And so, um, you know, this is, again, it's sort of creating trust. It's like, you know, hey, I sent my invoice, now the app is telling me that the other guy sent the money, it's all in my app. So, you know, we're absolutely working on, you know, user experience, things like that. And definitely will be working uh, absolutely to, you know, um, <coughs> not allow any sort of... Yeah, and, and I can add to that, actually. As a banker, Jeff's a banker or a former, former banker, uh, the fact that you don't have a uh, Deutsche coin to... Am I saying that right? Deutsche? Deutsche. 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 Sounds like a douche. <laughs> <laughs> it does. But uh, anyways, uh, the fact that you don't have a, uh, a Doge to fiat option leaves it in the hands of the regulators in those countries. Like, Look. especially if you're sending money overseas or anything like that, anything over, I would say, even maybe a grand, maybe especially $10,000, their banks, especially in Kuwait, uh, places like that, Middle East, they will absolutely flag that account and they'll just take that money yeah. away. So there's already regulations. The fact that they're just in Dogecoin protects them because these guys can't pull their money. You can't, you can't, you can't cash it. Do you guys you do know? crypto to crypto exchange or no? Man, you just that was going to be my question. question. Is it, you're, it's protege that, that uses 
the Dogecoin as the medium of exchange. So Protege supports Dogecoin. We also support Bitcoin, uh, Digibyte, and we will be supporting Dogecash, Verge, PayPal, and Stripe. So there's this concept I'm sure you're aware of of interoperability among federated systems. So in that case, does that operate between various systems, or or is it is it the is it the Bitcoin or Dogecoin that is the is the go between? Could could you inter interface with PayPal or Stripe or something else? Or well, we, we can absolutely interface with them in the sense that you can connect your account uh -huh. and then you can conduct your transactions using your PayPal account however you wish. And so but we, our interfacing with PayPal is limited to allowing you to interface with them. Uh -huh. we're, we're an intermediary allowing you to connect them and then providing a grander platform for you to do business. And then as far as other sort of interoperabilities, you know, we support various coins that I just mentioned, mm -hmm. but you know, the all the you know, if you want to exchange a Dogecoin into a Bitcoin, you know, that's, there are, up, that's up to you on an exchange or whatever. Yeah, there, that's the thing. There are already sure there are dozens of exchanges, dozens of wallets. Right. So you know that I mean you know when you open up a protege and you get an invoice or somebody, it'll say you know pay by app. Huh. When you click pay by app. It'll open up, and you'll have a choice of you know whatever your crypto wallets are. You know. Sure. Now, you are, is that uh, are you are you affiliated with Dogecoin in any way? Only as a fan. <laughs> <laughs> What's it trading at these days, by the way? I think it's between two and three cents, okay. or, or tenths of a penny. Why did you choose that? So, because Dogecoin has a global brand, uh, and it also Dogecoin is, just, I mean, it's essentially instant. Or be on time next time, you know. So it doesn't, can't help the traffic. Well, you know, this, you is why we chose, traffic. this is why we chose Dogecoin, because, you know, essentially it's like Bitcoin, you know. The Bitcoin walks in, you know, half an hour late. The Dogecoin was already here, you know, on time. <laughs> so. Yes, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with Dogecoin. I, what, are, what are some of the properties that are, uh, that, are that, that make it, that make it you so, know, well, desirable? So basically, it's, you know, Dogecoin is basically instant around the world you know, 30 seconds or something of this nature. The price is relatively consistent and stable, um, you know, between, let's say, two and three cents. Now, say, say the more people use it than on the exchange as opposed to, like, peer-to-peer. -peer. That was the good stuff. Okay, so <laughs> this guy's been helping me out a lot. Yeah. Okay. He's on our team already. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you, work, good you work with him? He's a, no, he's cheering. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, okay, got it. Well, what he was referencing was just that there's a stat um, there was, uh, and, and hopefully it's still very much apropos today, it's basically that most coins, their volume, 90% of them is people trading and then speculating on exchanges, sure. and only 10%, let's say, real world use case. Sure. Sure. Doge is a flip of that. Okay. People are using it to tip, to do this, that, or the other thing, gotcha. and the speculation is only you know, a small part of its actual use. What is the uh, daily volume of it? Daily volume? I mean, traded on various <laughs> exchanges. I want to say over a hundred million dollars, definitely, and it's been as high as several billion. At two or three cents, that's quite a bit of yeah. transaction. Yeah, and it's not even two or three cents; it's two or three tenths of a cent. Yeah. And so the average, again, don't quote me, huh. but it's something like a thousand dollars is the average transaction size. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So is that are you is that is there a blockchain associated with uh, with what you're doing or you have so, to, you yeah, have an there's, app? there's no there's no blockchain associated with anything that we're doing. Okay. Um, so you just have the payment app. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. The payment. All right. I think I'm caught up. I'm, I'm <laughs> out of here. You got See it. you guys. Any other questions? No, I, just a comment, Julian. I, I run one of the uh, leading crypto compliance companies. You've done a really nice job of deciding what services you provide to keep you from having to deal with KYC, AML, and some of that other stuff. And so if that was one of your goals, it seems like you actually like sliced that one really well, <laughs> that you're providing as many services as possible without potentially getting yourself in trouble. Uh, the one comment I would just give you on that is the regulators keep expanding what they view their world is that they get to touch so just make sure you keep an eye on it 
I saw so that, that if things moved change, out of the country. Yeah, if things, <laughs> if things, uh, if things change, um, there's a lot of companies in this space that have had like regulations change oh. and they didn't, and then they get caught up. So just pay totally. attention to yeah, it. You. But you've done a really nice job in the initial launch of figuring out the right way to slice that, that you don't have to take that problem on. That was that was a key. That was definitely you know, especially as a bootstrap startup. That was, you know, getting that right. So appreciate that very much. Were you joking when you said you moved out of the country, or are you domiciled in the U.S.? Or you know, I'm not even going to answer that question. <laughs> not on film. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to get kidnapped uh, and for you know sending some coins around and helping people. You know, we're trying to do a great service for people. And like I said, we're not Silk Web 2.0. Um, we'll be on that stuff, you know. So, and um, yeah. any other questions? I have a question. Uh, yeah. Is there a possibility that the merchants will uh, chat between each other, like a chatting? Uh... So absolutely. Right now, these are these are the types of things where we can really grow this thing and build this thing. Um, you know that. You know, absolutely. You know, you should be able to. Hey, I want to buy that product. Can you? You know, some. Um, so absolutely, that's a great, you know, these are the types of things that can be added on to a platform to really provide value to individuals and or merchants. Yeah. Anyone else? So you say it's not quite on the, it's not quite in the, uh, in the app store yet? So, yeah. so the app will be live in the app stores 48 to 72 hours, depending on Apple and Google's timelines. And, uh, just submitted it? Yeah, just yeah. submitted it in the last 24 hours. Okay, well good, congratulations, yeah, good for you. Awesome. Cool. Uh, have you had any other, or, sorry, have you had, <laughs> have you had any other, uh, have you had transactions? Have you had, uh, I guess a, you know, a, a soft launch, so to speak. We've we've tested things internally, certainly. Yeah. And um, yeah, so there might still be a couple bugs, and you know, we're working on those, absolutely. But yeah, I mean, as I was saying, you know, the transactions are peer to peer or using somebody's PayPal or Stripe. But when you're doing crypto, we're also monitoring the blockchains involved, whether it's Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and so we're confirming transactions. Mm -hmm. So if you send me an invoice and I pay it, mm -hmm. you know you don't need to call me and say, "Hey, did you pay me?" The mm -hmm. app will say, "Sure, you'll get it." And that form accepts Bitcoin as well, right? Yeah, you can use. And there's it. zero fees. Zero, zero fees. transactions. Zero fees. All right, that's great. There's zero fees with your platform, or, or with or with uh, Bitcoin. You're going to pay whatever the blockchain fee is related yeah. to Bitcoin or whatever you're using. Right. But as a platform, we charge zero fees. Really, and we are not a middleman. We do not act as a bank or custodian. Huh, interesting. That's great. So, so a peer-to-peer, -peer, but not necessarily point of sale. Well, we are a mobile point of sale. So I can take this out right now and I can create a mobile checkout in under 20 seconds. Uh -huh. and, I, and it'll give me a QR code, a wallet address. But uh, the platform also offers like invoicing. You can like, customize it, make it nice. Uh huh. Like, okay. Your yeah. business. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got. You need to go to work for him if you're not. So I like the platform, man. <laughs> so you know, yeah. I mean, we. You know, again, it would make inspiration not to believe or continue onward, but too much. But you know, yeah. We just we wanted to. You know, a lot of crypto stuff. You know, they come out. And, you know, then it's like, oh, yeah, oh, wait a minute, you're going to hold my money and you're going to charge me the fees? Well, isn't that what everybody else is doing? <laughs> We're supposed to be crypto, right? So, you know, this is trying to bring it back to, you know, 2010. Look, we're doing peer to peer, no fees, no middlemen. This is crypto. This is protege. Protege.com. <laughs> What's your Android, Twitter, Twitter handle? At protege and uh, Android and Apple, 48 to 72 hours. So right what, what is your business model then, if no, uh, no fees? <laughs> Our <laughs> business model. <laughs> that was 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Sorry, guys. One-on-one -on -one traffic, man. Sorry. Value, value added service. If we get it. It's subscription. Yeah, subscription. Ah, value okay. Added <laughs> so what is the subscription, so subscription that you guys right already now know? Is, um, you'll be able to spice up your, you'll have unlimited invoicing. You'll be able to spice it up with your logo and that uh -huh. type of thing. And also, because you create a 
profile and protege. It's a global searchable social network. Uh -huh. Okay. So you can advertise yourself and your business with up to five keywords. Okay. So people are searching for, let's say, you know, graphic designer, right. Los Angeles. Now we have a Google model built into protege where, hey, I want to be the graphic designer that people are, you know, seeing. Mm -hmm. The guy mowing the lawns, mm -hmm. you know. So we have that search business model built in mm -hmm. as well, along with subscription. Okay. It's three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. And, and, and my <laughs> only advice is that for month. My only advice is say three dollars and ninety nine cents oh. than three ninety nine okay. because it's a huge difference. And a lot of people charge four hundred bucks, yeah. you know, for advertising. And that's cheap for advertising. Oh. So say three dollars and ninety nine cents. That's great. That's three dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> that's incredible. What a value! Yeah, that uh, what a that, service. that could be quite a value, <laughs> uh, if you, especially if, uh, if you, know, you developed a, a nice ecosystem and, and were able to use a lot of search terms in, in that ecosystem. And, yeah, yeah, and we got and we got some really exciting things in the pipeline. I'll, I'll give another shout out to Doge Cash. <laughs> you know, again, don't sleep on Doge Cash. Um, okay. You know, <laughs> yeah, and, and Jeff sent me some stuff earlier today. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, well, no, I'm not even going to say anything, but just uh, don't sleep on Doge Cash. All right. I'll, All right. I'll look it up to look it up and see uh, same what I can get for two two tenths of one one cent. Is that what you said? Be, be a Dogecoin millionaire. Yeah, absolutely. Quite. All right, Julian. Thanks a lot. Thank thanks, you. everyone. Thank don't forget. Uh, now Next month is the LA Fintech Awards. So it's basically going to be, I think, uh, what is it? October 17th, I think, or 19th. I forgot the date. But basically, uh, it's uh, people like Julian, some of, their, some of the other demos that were here throughout the year. And it's uh, a voting thing on the awards. They get trophies. So all you guys should come and like, vote. You'll probably get emails. It actually starts now. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining.